Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fourth day of my week featuring Penny Black. For my card today I am going to use this stamp set by Penny Black which is called Love Art and it's uh, packed with uh, gorgeous uh, flowers. So I am going with a daisy today. I am going to stamp it with a black archival ink on watercolor paper. At this stage I didn't uh, know exactly the number of uh, flowers that I needed for my card, so I went ahead and stamped four times, but you will see that I will end up using only the three of them. So once that's uh, stamped, I am uh, going to go ahead and color my flowers using my Tombow markers. You can see on your screen each time I'm using a color the number of the marker. So I am starting out with uh, a bright uh, yellow color and I am going to blend it out uh, towards the center of the petals using my blending pen. The blending pen that I am using is also by Tombow and it was included in the set along with uh, the rest of the markers. Notice that I don't drag the color all the way to the, the tip of the petal since I want the tips of the petal to remain white. To deepen the shadows even more, I have also used a little bit of orange, which I am uh, blending it out as well. So now for the center, I am using uh, a couple of uh, brown markers and I don't pay really too much attention on how this is going to look because I am planning to apply glossy accents on top, which is going to cover up any mistakes. So once I was happy with the coloring, I used my scissors to cut out the flower. It's not that difficult as it looks, I'm just following the lines there. And um, this is where I decided that it looked too flat, so I am using the other tip of the marker, the thinner one, and uh, I am applying a little bit of uh, that color only at uh, the petals that are, that are at the back. So I'm drawing the shadows there. And to soften the shadows a little bit more, I am going to go over them with my blending pen. So I think that the finished result is going to look even more dimensional. And as I am doing that, just to let you know that uh, you can find, as always, the full list of all the supplies that I am using today, just below the video, as well as on my blog. So I have repeated the exact same process for the rest of the flowers and I have ended up having three of them. I have also curled up uh, the petals just a little bit for uh, some added dimension and now I am going to stamp my sentiment. Again I am using the stamp set that is called Special Thoughts that has beautiful sentiments and uh, I am going with uh, You Brighten My Day. I am going to stamp it on a panel that's um, white uh, with Versamark ink and then I am going to apply white embossing powder. Heat set it with my heat gun. You cannot probably see anything at uh, this stage but uh, I am then going to apply some distress ink with my blending tool and the sentiment is going to appear. The color that I am using is Peacock Feathers and I am going to apply it all over my panel. Now I have cut out this uh, white frame and to do so I am using my dies, the rectangle dies and uh, these are the two largest sizes nested one inside the other. And I used the largest uh, size to cut out the panel that I have colored uh, blue. So they are uh, the same size. I am using foam squares at the back of the frame and I am going to stick it on top of uh, my main panel and this is going to create some dimension and really you can turn this design easily into a shaker card. Now I get asked a lot about uh, what type of cardstock I use for my card bases and that's by Simon Says Stamp. You can find the link down below in the description area. It is the 120 pounds white cardstock by Simon Says Stamp which I always cut in half and then I fold at uh, five and a half, so I end up always with a top folding card. I am going to use my tape runner at the back 
and stick the panel on top of my card. And I get a nice beautiful dimension from that frame, as you can see. And now it's time to stick the flowers. First I am placing the flowers on top of uh, my card just to decide where everything is going to go and once I am happy with the placement I'm going to use some foam squares at the back and stick them down. And when you are designing something there is always something uh, that makes uh, your uh, design more interesting when you are using odd numbers. So I would never go with two flowers or with four flowers, I would rather use three. So I am nesting one on top of the other and for the third flower I am going to double up on foam squares so that it's a little bit more raised than the rest of the two sunflowers. As I am sticking the flowers down I also made sure that they don't exceed the frame of uh, my card so I don't have to cut out anything and it fits a, a standard envelope nicely. I'm curling up uh, the petals again and now to finish off my card of course I have to use some Wink of Stella glitter pen at the center of the flowers and as I am adding the Wink of Stella you need to, to remember that it uh, moves the ink. This is water based and it moves with water so although I lifted a little bit of uh, the color I didn't really mind. I am going to apply some glaze. You can actually use glossy accents. I just happen to have this bottle on my table at the moment. And although it looks uh, milky, it's going to dry clear. If you follow my blog for a while, you probably know that I really love this color combination. I think it's striking. So that was the project for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are the close-up photos of the card. And if you need more inspiration, here is a video where I have created a card using a penny black stamp. You can click on the video right now to watch it or if you are on a mobile device and that doesn't work for you, you can click on the link that just popped on your screen right now. Thank you all for watching!